Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ubyte DB demo on scaling. My name is Marco Reitrich. I'm one of the solutions engineers here at Ubyte DB. If you've watched our previous demo on high availability, we introduced the concept of shard leaders and shard followers. In this particular visual, we've um, signaled the leaders in this case with a star above them. So you'll see that the leader for orange and teal is on this first node, very top node. The leader for purple is in the load underneath it. And then the leader for red is over here in the bottom right. So you'll see that although we have three nodes, we actually have four shard leaders leading us to an unequal mix of um, shard leaders per node. So how is, what happens when we add a new node and how is this handled? So all of the sharding, I'm sorry, all the replication to that new node is done on a shard by shard level. So you'll see the first thing that happens is that the system will find out which node may have an imbalance of shard leaders. Once it identifies a node, it'll choose one of those shard leaders and it's going to create a new replicant of that shard on the new node. And in this case, it's going to be the teal node. And for a brief moment in time, we're going to have four copies of that particular shard. When the leader re-election happens for that particular peer group, you'll see that the new leader is elected on that new node and that the old leader, the copy of the old leader is deleted. So now we're back to what our replication factor was set up, uh, set up for, which is three. After the fact, now we have an equal distribution of shard leaders, meaning that every single one of these nodes is going to be actively getting read and write IO. And that very last piece is, okay, let's get a full equal distribution of shards, not just shard leaders, but shard followers as well. So what, we, uh, what happened there is, you know, once the leaders are copied over, then the followers join soon, instead of having four, uh, I'm sorry, three shard leaders in the bottom, nodes, you'll see that all of the, the um, nodes in the cluster are now going to have two followers and a leader, and we have a fully equal distribution of shards across the cluster. So now to kind of show you, okay, you know, what's going on, how can we see this in action, um, I created, a, for us to have an example, a three node cluster called scaling demo, where we'll be able to kind of take a look and visualize the read and write IOPS, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run uh, the Yugabyte sample apps. So let's go ahead and check out, you know, what's going on from the application side. Client side. Uh, so I will do logs, go. We see we are starting to get some read and write um, to our instance, okay? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just refresh this, make sure that we are actually getting some traffic. You see here we have some read and write ops per second. If we want to take a deeper look into this, we can go over here to the master UI. We can take a look at the actual tablet servers. This shows us our distribution of tablet peers. I'm sorry, um, tablet or shards. They're uh, the followers of the peers as well as the, the leaders. Peers are uh, followers of the leaders, right? So out of six shards, to our leaders on each one. Um, and let's see what happens when we go ahead and we add nodes to the cluster. So I'm gonna do all that through the U by DB platform. Let me go ahead and edit the universe. Um, all I'm gonna do is just increase this from three to six. So I'm gonna make one node in each availability zone to having two nodes in each availability zone. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. We're gonna go ahead and um, You'll see here that we're updating the universe. We're gonna go ahead and scale from three to six. So let's kind of just keep an eye out um, as we're kind of going through this. Let's see what happens to the read and write IO as we add those new nodes. Obviously we're using a cloud provider to add these nodes, we're using AWS. So there is a some time that is spent on one, actually spinning up the nodes to um, everything that AWS has to do in order to make sure that they're, everything's right on their end. And then we're downloading the Yugabyte software, adding it to the cluster, et cetera. So this might take a little bit of time. Um, we're going to go ahead and speed it up for you in order to not be too boring, 
But um, if you just hold on a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and uh, eventually be able to show you that there's gonna be a, once the three nodes are added, there's gonna be an equal distribution of shards and of leaders, as well as the read and write items. Okay. And there, as you can see, we've had a uh, cluster expansion. Uh, you'll see that some of the user tables and the leaders have moved over already, right? Uh, now we're just waiting to finalize the cluster in order to have everything equal, right? So um, looks like every single node except uh, this particular one is already accepting read and write, uh, read IOPS. Looks like the write ops on the actual sample app stops. So that's why you see zeros there. And you'll see that slowly these user tables are moving over. Uh, again, this might be due to actively running sample apps on the cluster and adding more data as we're expanding, which we want to, um, to do in order to see what it would actually look like if you were receiving traffic while this was happening. So, um, you know, this should be done here soon. We're about 93% done and pending. Um, so we'll have to kind of take a look at what that looked like when, uh, when it finishes. But I did want to show you real quick that there is active, um, you know, read ops happening on the expanded nodes, and that's already been happening for some time. So, so it looks like it is ready. Um, let me go ahead and refresh this. So now we see that there is about the same amount of rewrite ops. I can kind of assume that uh, we finally found an equal amount of leaders across everything. Let's go ahead and refresh. And there we go. We'll see that um, at least specific to the users table that's being created by the sample apps, there are three shards in three user shards within every node and one of those is a leader and you see about an equal read ops throughout it and you can see the same thing uh, with the uh, system tables as well and then you can see that there's active tablet peers here 99999 nine, 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 equal all the way across so that is how scaling is done as you add nodes to your cluster in this particular example we did we went from a three node cluster to a six node cluster to in um, a number of different availability zones. And we see here now we were actively able to get traffic the entire time. Um, we were able to equally distribute the shard leaders um, as well as the, the follower shards as we had in the example we did up here. Thank you for your time.